<coughs> Scusi. <sighs> well, I'm getting the word that I'm live, courtesy of the man, the myth, the legend, the Concakes. So how's everybody doing? My name, unfortunately, is Drumboardist, and we're going to play some Wanderers from East, aka the 30s game. So we're going to ease on down, ease on down the road. So a usual good starting point is, you know, the beginning of the game. So let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the game in three, two, one. Let's jam. Righto! Mash through all this stuff, because nobody wants to see the intro cutscenes, right? So welcome to the game. Uh, our good buddy there, Dogi, has returned to his hometown because there's a lot of backstory here. You're the red-haired kid right there. You are a dog. Um, and they've been on adventures. Adol has successfully beaten down two different Ease games, and now we're walking up into a third. But thankfully, you don't just mindlessly run into enemies. You kind of do. But uh, <laughs> at least you hold down an attack button for this. So, yeah, this this uh, version of the Ease game, the third one. Um, let me see. What what all was this on? This was uh, it came out of the Famicom, the Genesis, the TurboGrafx-16, uh, Super Nintendo, which is what most people know it from. I want to say the MSX, uh, probably a TI cal uh, TI eighty six uh, calculator. I think it's on my microwave. It's a lot of games. So yay, here we are. Adol showing us the town, and that's an old friend of his, his sister. And now she's getting introduced to us, and she's the love interest. But I don't know. She's mostly invulnerable and shows up past lots of really dangerous stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and do the, the, the do the, hello, thank you, no, 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 oh, oh, sorry, hit wrong buttons now, uh, speed up the text because there's a lot of dialogue that we don't really want to read, um, so we have a thousand gold, and that's enough to be able to buy the starting sword and, uh, a bunch of other stuff in this game, but we're not gonna do any of that, like, you, you have enough money to be able to buy an herb, or as this game calls it, harb, uh, the game looks blurry because my... That's just how my Genesis looks, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, a thousand gold is enough to be able to buy the starting sword, the starting shield, the starting armor. I should probably walk forward and continue this cutscene. And maybe a harb! Um, we didn't buy any of that. Instead, I decided to go buy uh, this uh, nice shiny necklace that I, uh, I found at the, at the local pawn shop. Because, you know, I uh, shiny things. That's how it works. Um... And we're just going to roll up into the first dungeon, which, if any of you have ever played this, uh, it helps if I actually say, holy cow. Uh, if any of you have ever played this, you know just how grindy it is. Um, that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, and these guys, I can take two hits before I'm dead, so hopefully we don't accidentally run into a bug anywhere. Uh, the flying ones are, you know, random locations that's, uh, very annoying, and we don't, we don't want that. So I'm going to duck you. We're good. So... Again, that necklace that I bought, what it does is that I use it on a screen, sorry, amulet, and it damages everything on the screen, I get a bunch of experience. And you get three charges for it. That's great. So there's one, here's two, and the problem with this game is that if you level up on the last charge of your necklace, uh, the game freaks out, and I'm now at maximum level. So, welcome to Boss Rush, the Ease game. That's what's going to happen from here out. We don't need the gear. We need some gear, and then we wind up getting better gear. And then the game remembers, oh, right, uh, you can break things. Uh, we better, like, crank up the difficulty for the last two dungeons a lot, because we're mean. So, uh, you, fun fact, you don't, uh, you don't actually need a weapon to be able to hurt things in the Genesis version. I believe you do on the Super Nintendo. I haven't played that one in a really long time because it's grindy, and, you know, um... But in order for us to progress, we come across, you know, this guy. Hi, Chester. His name is Chester. He's not a cheetah. He's just a cheater. Just kidding. So he's a mean dude. Kicks that guy. Keeps on moving. Which, by the way, there's a really long pit down there. So I'm assuming he just fell. Um, but this guy wants me to take this key and go get a sword to be able to save the mayor. You know, because I'm overpowered as all get out. And still, I need a sword. Even if you bought the starter sword... Uh, this guy, or any of the weaponry, uh, in that town. Oh, I didn't mean to grab- Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, uh, I forgot you could just walk into that chest and grab that. That was dumb. 
a slight time loss there, that's fine. Um, really, yeah, if you have any weaponry, that guy says, no, you have to go fight this dude and get a sword. To which my response is, dude, one punch man, come on, man. I, I, I am Dogi, he with the fist. I am one with the punch. Why, why would you, fine, I'll go do the thing. So you have to climb back this way and you go fight a boss and he, he summons magical swords out of air. Thin air, if you prefer. Um, the, hello, jump controls. The, the controls in this are slightly gummy. It's just how it is. Um, yeah, this guy summons swords magically out of the air. And you have to kill him and take one of his magical swords, which is like the second weakest sword in the game. But that's fine because uh, he's dead. <laughs> Being maximum level is funny. And you don't actually have to worry about collecting the, uh... You don't have to worry about collecting the, the sword here. No, I guess you do. I'm, I'm getting confused and thinking about, like, the PS2 remake now. Okay, well, since, you know, my brain works. <clears throat> yeah, I lost four seconds on the nose because of that chest. Because you had to wait for the item jingle. Look, I got an item, and I didn't want to get it, because it costs time, and I don't really need a thing. That amulet that I picked up, uh, Kong, we broke the game, that's what happened. Um, don't, 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 th don't think about it, Marty. I, I, I can't do a Rick. I can't do either of them, or really anything from that show. Uh, yeah, the amulet glitch is you get three casts. Uh, of an AoE attack with an amulet that you can buy in town. If you level up while the th with the third cast of the amulet, then uh, the game freaks out and puts you at max level. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's fun. So I don't need no equipment. Also, I don't need to know how to rock. <laughs> no, it's, I don't need any instruction manuals? I don't remember. I don't remember what the Carl quote is. Carl, I don't think you know how to work with the foreigner belt. All right, I, I take a safety save right here because this particular boss is, uh, has weird hitboxes, uh, and you can die just by running into them, but thankfully I, I didn't die. <laughs> Sometimes you just jump into them to try and kill them, and the game's like, not dead. Cram it with Walnut's sister. So I got a magical MacGuffin. Come on, game. Thank you. Cool. And we're ahead again. All right. So these guys are past that boss and the magical MacGuffin that Chester there is looking for. Uh, don't know how they got in there. Don't know why. That guy's leg is broken, but up a flight of stairs and down two giant falls and whatever. Don't think about it. Just don't think about it. <laughs> Logical in inconsistencies are for suckers. They're not, but, you know, just don't think about it. So... Uh, the question is, do I do the shopping now or later? I usually do the shopping later, but I think it does a very slight speed up in terms of just DPS. Oh, no, yeah, the, 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 I forgot two different shops. What am I doing? Right, so sword. I want the broadsword. It starts out on no each time. I don't really know why, so we're just going to buy the best equipment in the, uh, that we can buy in the game. The fourth best of each uh, out of, you know, five. And if you mash, then it'll default to no, and then there's nothing you're going to be able to do. Thanks, game! <laughs> yes, no, yes. So I need to go talk to Dogie, who's all the way down at the end. I could go visit the mayor, I could go visit the old grandma lady who lost her grandson, and that's that pendant that I just picked up, and, uh... <laughs> did you miss the owl grind? You did, Cooler! You missed the owl grind. The owl grind is gone. So we're just mashing through dialogue. They're like, here, here's the next location that we we desperately want you to go to. Uh, okay, I will, I will go to the next location. It's not you, spec, spectate, spectatorio, spe Hey, spec. So yes, no, it's not you. My my Genesis is not very good. That's, I'd like four, and they all look like this. I don't really know why. <laughs> they just do. Um. Well, I think I could feasibly... Well, it, I think it looks better if I use the coax. I'm obviously not going to be using the coax. Let's just go ahead and quit my equipment while I'm here. All right, it's the third best sword. There's a... You get the fourth sword up on the mountain, fifth sword in the final... Well, next to final uh, dungeon. So, hey, look at this. I don't... I, I, I'm no longer going to worry about punching things to death. Um, I totally just missed the stairs. I don't know why. Could you... Could you go away? What are you doing? That guy's a jerk. 
So yeah, normally if you're not glitching the hell at the game, um, you come out here and you do the greatest attack in the history of attacks, which is ah! an owl suicide onto your sword, and you grind a whole bunch and get a bunch of experience and all that jazz. But since we're already max level, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to run away from Beerus with a whip. Don't know why he wants to have a whip, but God Instruction wants a whip. You ain't gonna tell him no, so we continue on. Uh, um, I, I affectionately call these ruins the Minecraft Castle because, you know, it's a series of ruins. Uh, probably just kind of stumbled onto it. And if you dig two squares down, congratulations, you fall into a giant river of lava. So, Minecraft Castle. Uh, what are we doing? What's going on? What's happening? We're just walking. We're walking and walk it out. So how's everybody doing today? I do apologize for the video, but hopefully the audio at least uh, sounds good. Uh, yeah, assuming you can hear it over my incessant yammering on about absolutely nothing of importance. This is the moment you skip the downstairs. So I don't need that armor anymore. I mean, is that not the greatest attack of all time? Come on now. He has a downstab. He can crawl around on the ground like a worm and just kind of uh, slash at your, uh, your Achilles tendon until you fall over dead. And then he's got the upper arm workout of Doom. It's amazing. Yeah, it's not wise. It's ease. If it helps, if you've seen... Uh, uh, if you've seen The Wiz, just think. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Just imagine you're Michael Jackson, but living. And I don't know, whatever else it is that you might not want to prepare yourself to with. Hey, so anyways, uh, river of fire and death and burning and destruction and, uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. So we're just going to not pick up uh, that herb off to the left. There's an herb, or as this game calls it, harb, on the upper left up there. So if you find yourself down here and you desperately need to, like, grind up levels, which, again, why... Um, there's a harb over to the left for, uh, effectively infinite healing, but, uh, I don't need that stinking healing, we ain't gonna do that. Oh, cool. Thank you, King. Good to hear. I know Shema said it was good, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not calling him out and saying he's wrong, I was just curious what other people might have to say about it. For all I know, he could be half deaf in one ear. Or full deaf in both, I don't know, he could be yanking my chain. Uh, anyways, here's a boss. <laughs> There's a boss. Hand banana. I ain't got no hand banana impression. I'm, all, I'm just looking for impressions from like Arkansas. Uh, I don't know. We can always go ahead and do something like this. But, oh, that was. Oh. You want that? That. Get it. Just, just ninja kick the rabbit. Do something. Everybody's just looking for some. Just go ahead and do that. Frylock, I don't understand why you continue to keep the meat man around here. Hey, hey, five man! Uh, what happened to my car? I don't know. The one person I can't do is Frylock, so, you know, we're just not gonna do any of that. Why are we all saying tonight you? Did I miss something here? What is happening tonight? Why? Oh no. I don't know, I get bored and just do impressions of things that I hear because I have no friends and personality, so let me copy off of other people instead. That's my life! Yes. Although I did find out that uh, AK uh, can do the Krusty laugh, which I respect, because that's I can't do an impression of Krusty. I could just do the laugh. <laughs> ah, crap. That's the best I got. That's all I can do. It's an absolute shame. <laughs> ah, gonna skip that harp again. We don't need it! Hand banana versus matcha. You know... Kong, we've already established Macho Man hurts my throat. I mean, it's like what several people that knew him said. Yes, his voice was like that. It didn't start out like that. But he did too much smoking of certain things and too much yelling while playing baseball. And unfortunately, that's what his voice sounded like now. I can make my voice sound like that. There will be no commentary for the rest of the run. So maybe we'll wind up getting uh, some Macho Man near the end of the run, but I won't have to worry about talking for 24 hours. <laughs> uh, ooh, I mean, I can give you a little bit of a teaser, I suppose, but uh, not really much going on outside of that. Ooh. I'm not going to start, you know, yelling, calling people out taking a folding chair to the back of somebody's head. 
Probably Ric Flair, because he never liked him. Anyways, um, were we going on a boot? I don't know what other impressions I got on the table. All you're just seeing is me walk from boss to boss and slap them. That's so. That's that. That is this game right here. I apologize if you guys are looking for intricacies and strategies. The intricacy and strategy is use amulet until maximum level. Yay! No, Genesis game was not lost. I had to wait for that thing to do the thing. Oh, OST. I can't read anymore. Well, you know, I never learned how to read. I'm, I'm slow. <clears throat> I don't know who the irate gamer is, so I'll just skip that one. Uh, the Super Nintendo, you can jump up these stairs and skip this cutscene, and you can't on the Genesis, so anybody knows of some way to skip this cutscene, please let me know. It saves like a minute. <laughs> please? Uh, let me see. Who else do I have from the Simpsons? Well, of course, we have a fool. A fool, nah, so give a better look. Thank you. Come again. Um... Uh, you got, uh, Chief Quimby, uh, no, uh, Quimby, Quimby's the, the mayor, isn't he? Shia, I, uh, can't really do a, uh, Quimby. That's, that's just, it, that doesn't really want to work. Um, we got here? What is, I, uh, Wiggum, Wiggum! You know, Ralph's dad. Hi! Uh, hi, Lisa! Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers! Yeah, the more my voice gets tore up, the less I could do Ralph. Here's a brand new sentence for you. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, you can learn speedrunning. Dude, I have trouble feeling things with my hands, and, you know, I don't have any uncontestable records. So, you know, I mean, you can be all right at it. I would imagine if you're able to feel things with your hands, it'll go slightly better. Um, just practice. That's really all it is. Come on down. There was a dragon. Did you see him? Oh, sorry, fire, fire wyvern. That's the wyvern. Uh, excuse me. Yes, so anyways, uh, what are we talking about here? Um, well, I suppose we can just go ahead and leap right into other voices that I enjoy doing some commentary with, right? I mean, Stewie is just a younger Mr. Burns. I mean, that's that's really just it, right? Um, uh, uh, I mean, Smith is who's that done the tape? Oh, uh, that's Homer Simpson, sir. Simpson, eh? New worker. Um... Why are you a tiny baby that's talking like that? I don't really know. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and imagine that, uh, of course, Mr. Burns drank a uh, youth potion or something. I'm sure he could afford it. Um, I was going to lead into those with uh, talking about uh, how... Watch him, who's it? What's his name? Uh, yeah, ch no, ch Chief. Chief. I keep calling him Chief. Yeah, Wiggum. Uh, you know, Ralph's dead. <laughs> Bake him away, toys. That guy. Uh, that that guy is Peter Griffin if he was incredibly blocked up nasally. It's just, hang on, guys. I got just one second. <clears throat> oh, boy. It's good to get that cleared up. Holy crap. So what's everybody doing around here? I'm trying to walk to the wrong location now. Oh, no. No. Oh, not this. Oh. That is two for two of houses I'm not supposed to things I'm not supposed to mess with. Well, I visited Granny. I wanted to go to the next house. That was my bad. Go to this house. Oh, I'm clever. So there's the mayor. He's back home. His house has been wrecked by the king's people. I don't know. Hey, why not? <clears throat> hey, I got a time ring. So ring of time. Time ring, time ring. Travels back in time. Uh, so, I gotta go get, uh, another, uh, thing. You know, the thing. The, the thing! Can I do Peter Griffin? I mean, it's entirely possible I have the capability of, uh, of doing a Peter Griffin voice, uh, Why? What is it you're looking for here? You just, uh, just want the general voice, uh, You're looking for something specific for him to say? Where am I going? It's the T. Gray Mine! Headed to the wrong location. Man, I'm just all out of sorts. I spent too long working on the clock tower jumping. Not enough remembering the route. <laughs> good news is I should be pretty good at the clock tower jump. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make that up and not die to any bosses, unfortunately. Which end game of this is no, we're not gonna we're not gonna play fair. Up until this point, the game is well, not fair, it's just grindy. 
Uh, yeah, the king is definitely corrupt, and then Chester is also a, a putz, but then he decides to be less of a putz and try to help out, uh, you know, the good guys. Power ring! All right. Second most important ring in the game. I mean, arguably the first, but I don't... I don't know. I, I, I like the, uh, the ring that makes you invulnerable, because it lets you kill the final boss. So you can get the final boss, and you can beat him with the power ring. You ain't gonna wanna, so... <laughs> I get that instead. <clears throat> Alright, so what are we doing? What's going on? What's happening? That guy also had a whip. <laughs> Ew, no, stop that. No one needs children that stupid roaming the earth. Stop that! No! Alright, what do we... I don't, uh, don't remember what the heck it is we're doing over here. Uh, I just... I... With... But... Shema, calm down, please. Why? Shema, no. No. Okay, so, yeah, we got that crystal. Let's us buy another item in the shop that lets us re uh, restore, restore, words are hard, uh, the, uh, uh, the, whatchamahoosit, the ring power that we have, which is effectively, that's your magic in this game. The rings double up one of your stats. Well, double up two of your stats, and the other ones just kind of do interesting things. Um, so you get a hold of those. We're gonna skip that chest because we don't need to do that cutscene anymore. I kept thinking we had to, and you do not! Um, because I'm clever. There's a piece of armor off to the left that sucks, so we're not gonna get it. Whee! Hey, don't hit! No, don't hit! He's bad touch! No, he's very rude! Stop! No! I don't know what that voice is supposed to be. We're just gonna, we're gonna imagine it's a thing. So here's boss! We don't need to worry about, like, saving for him or anything. I'm just going to equip this new swanky power ring. We're going to jump at him and slap him around with a sword. Like that. There was a boss. Did you see him? I hope you liked him. He was all throughout that wall. Was. That is the word. Peter, please stop doing that. So I don't know if y'all have kind of figured it out yet, but I have Seth MacFarlane's voice. So... <laughs> Uh, it's, it, it very, it sadly is very easy for me to be able to just do any of the voices that he does. I really just had to learn, ah, I missed the very short distance jump, whatever. Uh, it's very easy for me to be able to just do any of the voices he does, so I do. Um, yes, no, what am I, what's, what's correct? I don't know, I was dead at the time. I was on the moon with Steve, yes, Russian Dracula. Sure, why not? I like it. That is great! Hey, anyway, what am I doing? What, what, I don't... I'm lost. Who's on first? So, precision platforming in my Ease game. This is always fun. Could, could you... But I hate this section so much. Make the jump! Alright, and we don't like wood uh, platforms, so we just jump through that one. <laughs> I ain't smoking nothing, mister! I was vaping prior to this because I used to be a smoker and I'm still a filthy degenerate, but at least, you know, I can do that, um, well, I guess not indoors anymore. So, I'm just a filthy degenerate, we're gonna go with that. Um, and, you know, lots of coffee, because I got up for work at 1.30 a.m., and I'm still up, and I've had lots of coffee today. And right prior to this run, I then chugged the whole mess of it, too, so I got that going for me, which is nice, I guess. Alright, so now I gotta go visit the mayor again. We're just gonna short hop all the way. Hey! <laughs> so this is the point where Adol says he takes off, or is that the previous cutscene? I'm sorry, I'm Adol. Doggy, doggy, get along, little doggy. I don't know, someone did something somewhere. So we're gonna go to this other shop and buy some things. Yay, we can make things with this. Thank you. So I want a harb. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. I want the brooch. I thought it was Broska. It's Brosha. Whatever. How much does the necklace cost? Oh, can't afford it. Okay. Uh, buy item. Amulet we want. We go use that on the final boss. And I know I used the mirror somewhere, but I never remember where. So I'm going to take the slight time loss there to buy it again, and hopefully we will be able to do it. Mir just, like, stuns everyone with the ground. Don't go to Granny's house! That was Granny's house. We do not need to visit Granny. She gives you a ring you do not use. Oh, look, here's the king, the corrupt king who roughed up the town's folks and messed up the mayor's house and sent Chester around to do evil things. Actually, no, Chester was just somebody else. And that guy who stares you down is also a jerk. Um, 
So the king wants you to find the four magical MacGuffins, um, which are locking up a super evil demon, and the king is trying to collect them. <laughs> That's... Dude, no, king. No, 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 no. We don't... 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 No. We don't want that guy back alive. Spoilers? Yeah, that guy comes back alive. Um... I don't, they, 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 I don't remember what his name is on, like, the Super Nintendo. I remember that his underling is named Garland, but they call him something different of this, and I never really pay attention to names anymore, and I'm really bad at names. Anyway, so, um, go to Mount Seco, Seco, Secord, Cliff Secord, Mount Rocketeer. That is where we are headed. We are at Mount Rocketeer. There it was! Did you see it? That was the Rocketeer, kids! Wow! so amazing. Oh no, there's another. Okay, I'm just gonna stop this train of thought. Anyways, not good with names or places. I see. I hate names. Well, really, I just hate people. And people, I hate places, I hate things, I hate ideas. Really, I just hate nouns. I hate nouns. I'm not a fan of nouns. Uh, so it's a good thing I'm at max level wearing the best possible equipment that I can right now because, I mean... Imagine if I didn't have max life and the best possible defense for this place. Wouldn't that be fun? The answer's no. I mean, they do give you a free heal in this cabin coming up and a better weapon, but still just the same dude. What the heck? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Let's just gather these infinity stones. Worse than that, it's like you're trying to collect them for Thanos. Well, I guess Thanos would be the summoned creature, so we're just gonna... I don't know, we're gonna ignore all of that anyway. So look, hey, new, a new weapon. Thank you. You must be tired. Uh, yeah, I'm real tired. See ya. Don't, don't you want to rest, like hang out and rest and, you know, uh, maybe, uh, uh, we could tell stories or something. Nope, gotta go, bye. So we got a heartbeat coming up that we gotta go kill. Uh, that's, uh, that's a statue that clearly doesn't mean anything. That's that's just flavor. Uh, that's just something pretty to look at while on the mountaintop. Obviously, that has no bearing whatsoever. I'm lying to you. I, th this was straight lies. This was hot lies. I apologize to lying to everyone like that. I'd like to apologize to my friends, to my family, to the organization. Um, what am I talking about? All right, there's a harpy. And uh, to speed this up, we got a power ring. Uh, there was a harpy. I hope you liked it. Did y'all like the harpy? Oh, Peter, the harpy. Well, I, as he said it like Peter Griffin, don't really know why. So I've got a flame staff, not a weapon. Don't use it. <clears throat> uh, da, da, da. Still barely ahead. I'm fine with this. I like 20 seconds. But assuming I don't die copious amounts of time in the last uh, place, we should be fine. In theory. I say in theory because in practice... <laughs> what am I doing? Chekhov's statue. Sure, why not? So speaking of Chekhov's statue... Uh, oh no, it was a cursed statue. Did you see that? Wasn't that amazing? It was... Um, sure, why not? And you needed the flame staff to just make this one patch of snow go away. Again, don't think about that for too long. Um, so, we're going for the last statue piece. Unfortunately, so is Chester. You don't know that until Chester shows up, but Chester is a coming. Chester is a jerk. He and his, uh, uh, his sister Elena just kind of show up wherever they want. Uh, regardless of all of this damage, <laughs> go away! Um, they just show up wherever and maul things because they can. As do I, because that was a dragon, and uh, he ain't got no face no more. Went right for the neck. As you do when you fight dragons. So I've got all four statues, and don't move! Really, dude, do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Never mind there's a cave-in. We should probably... We should do something about that. So what does every good hero do when there's a cave-in? You have a heart-to-heart -heart with the bad guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no. Uh, king's a jerk. Destroyed Chester and Elena's town. And now he's working for the king. And he's going to try and uh, a uh, assist the king in reviving the bad guy of this game. Whose name is Domanicus. 
It's like if Kid Icarus from Captain N decided to name a bad guy. Hey, Kid Icarus, who's the bad guy? That's Domanicus! You have a weird speech impediment, little dude. I know. Uh, anyway. What are, what are we going on about? So yeah, no, Chester is assisting the king in getting the statues so that his hubris will call, cause a giant evil destructive creature to come forth and, well, kill the king. And probably a lot of other people too. So Chester's certainly not a good guy right here. Um, having said that, uh, the king then decides, uh, well, the mayor knows too much, so I'm going to kidnap a bunch of townsfolk. And by bunch, I mean three. <laughs> but just go with it. Um, and put him in his castle. So here's the next to last dungeon. Uh, it's the longest by far in the game. I don't think I need to safety save here, but dag now I'm safety saving here because, hey, why not? Um, so we've been at max level for pretty much the entirety of the game. I've got the best possible gear equipped. Welcome to the game realizes things and decides to punish you for it. I've taken two hits. I'm gonna let that guy fly underneath me. Marilyn, that's it. Marilyn, you fight the entire state of Maryland. I've got Mannix is like second on the leaderboard, so he would know, gonna wait out that statue. If you run into the statues like that, uh, you tend to get hit. And I don't remember what the timing is for when you can just run straight and run not straight, so not even gonna risk it. Gonna run away from that guy though. I think this is the, yep, not quite. I think you have to jump that one. That's whatever. That's fine. Would prefer not to die to things. Because dying to things, not a good idea. So, yeah, no, this is... Oh, don't. There's like a stutter step you have to do to not get blowed up by that guy. And, uh, I done failed. Again, whoa! Again, I practiced the clock tower and not these sections. So that was my bad. Cool. Cool. Right, yes, so, plenty of bad things that can happen in this section. We're just going to not even risk it and stab a bunch of guys as they come at us. Like that guy. Your down strike in this game is wildly powerful. Um, yes, you played three runs, and you kicked the snot out of my time. What do you want, man? Um, <laughs> uh, oh, now I remember. Uh, it's, you don't even have enough money to buy the mirror ahead of time, uh, which was, I was, I was trying to figure out a way to see if there was going to be an easy, fast way of getting the mirror. I think if I did like, well, now I did the early shopping that you can. So I was just trying to figure out a way so that you could just have a free heal on hit item to maybe try and work it out. And I just, you know, never did because I, uh, suck as a person that, and I think it would actually require grinding again. And we ain't doing that. We are not about to do that. Jump, I'm wait you out, wait you out. You can't jump over the Axe Knights when it's up because it'll hit you there too, so uh, we don't do that. We're gonna... Uh, I forgot to... Oh no, I equip it in the room. Equip it in the room! Hey, look, it's a boss! Uh, yeah, so shield, uh, power ring, and go! <laughs> so a lot of these bosses, you stab them viciously in the ankles until they're dead. That's how it works. It's fun! And by fun, I mean, ow, 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 ooh, ow, ooh, ow, why, why specifically the ankle, why? The task does the jump stabs that just melt them like butter. I'm still not entirely sure why or how he just does. Also, he doesn't take hits from them. That's the other really annoying thing. Like, dude, uh, I should have kept going. Like, dude, how and why? I do not understand why you're able to just kind of get away with that. Thanks, game. Uh, so every time you kill a boss, you get a full heal, you get a little bit of ring power back, you also get ring power, a.k.a. your magic in this game, by killing singular enemies. So each time I stab one of those guys, I get a little more ring power back, and look, we're at max. Hey, uh, jump! And land on that dude's face, because we are a dolan. We do not care about that guy's well-being. I don't know if it was actually a guy. It could just be magical suit armor. I don't know. I do not know. It could be. Um, uh, whatever, man, let's go. So, I got the magical red item thing off of, uh, Simon Belmondo there. Which allows me to move past this statue, because there's a lot of things that you just have to get that, uh, lets you then move past objectives, because, yeah, that's how it works. 
Honestly, I've never played an East game after this one, so I would say this one myself. And probably this specific version, too. So we now have the best armor in the game. Best armor and best shield. So we have the best defense possible. We are at maximum level. The only way our defense could get better is if I was equipping that ring I did not mean to pick up. Ugh. I'm just going to ignore you guys. Well, not him. He'll chase me down. Go, go, go! Wait it out. I could have run underneath it, but again... Uh, yeah, see, that was that right like that. And I believe the spikes are insta-death, so don't do it. <laughs> um, uh-oh. No, no, yeah. Uh, run away! No, no, because I can't save during the boss fight! <laughs> uh, and I don't like this boss! <laughs> so we gotta get him into a loop, which that looks like he's in the right loop. Come back here. There we go. Boss is done. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Cool. Fire dog. If you take more damage in boss fights, which can be pretty difficult, then you have to wait longer and longer for your health to recharge, and that obviously stinks a lot. Nobody likes it, so, I mean, we're working on it. Thankfully, the game actually de-equips your rings for you. Wait, a doll, don't move! Stop! Wait, don't stop. Okay, that did say don't stop here, move. I don't... I'm confused. Right, so anyways, that's Marilyn. He sucks. He's he's not fun. He's, he's a bit of a jerk and all that jazz. Uh, look, secret passageway. Hey, Elena, how did you get through all of that alive? It could be a trap. I'm wearing you as a shield. Lady, come here! I am putting a strap on your back and I'm carrying through. We are doing this! Right, so more of this good fun times to be had by all. And if you desperately need to heal up following this next boss, which you shouldn't, but if you need to, you can. There's a guy in here that sells a harv. Or if you had to heal, you know, during any of those other boss fights, one of these guys gives you a harv, so you can harv up! I'm not mispronouncing harb. That's how they spell it. H-A-R-B. It's not a herb, because there's an H in it. Um, and you're meant to think that's going to be another statue that you're supposed to do something cool with, but no, it's uh, it's a boss. And he, try he tries viciously to protect his ankles. Which is funny, because I'm presenting the back of my head to his axe. That's cool. That's fine. Stabity, stabity, stab. Your ankles is gone gonna argue with it. I'm just gonna say, hey, that guy's done. And I don't have an issue with this. I've got a dungeon key. Hey, look at that. We're good. Could you, could you, could you not could you just, I, could you get... So I don't need to pick up the harb, so we're good on this end. Um, step in, please. Thank you. Oh, talk to this guy. He gives me the thing that opens up the next door. Blue bracelet. It's, uh, turns your armor red and, uh, you know, that way you can take half damage and, uh, what am I talking about? We're just going to ignore all of that. Adol versus Link. Uh, gee, let me think. Adol's like, well, I don't know. If Link got above Adol, he like, if, oh, don't, what, I, but, what do you, just, just, Thank you. If Link went for the downstab, my money's on this thing stopping it. Maybe. Well, but then we're talking about, like, uh, Zelda 2 Link, and he's got a bunch of spells, and that's gonna suck. Alright, so, Clock Tower. This place sucks. Nobody likes it. Oh, Adol. Am I, am I gonna have to yell at you some more? Look at what you did. Get back to what you did. You just, I... So anyways, uh... I'm not going to call it precision platforming, but it's certainly not great um, platforming. So there's a jump coming up that sucks a lot. Manix, tell them about the clock tower jump! Nah, who am I kidding? I'll, I'll, I'll tell them about the clock tower jump. So you have like, I think it's with like three to five frames, but since the controls are also slightly gummy in this, it's uh, difficult. You have to jump off of a, where am I going? Jump off a moving uh, that, that chain right there to hit a platform that is, it's a tight window. It's very annoying. I don't like it. And I missed it, so now we're gonna have to go through another cycle. And I don't really feel like trying for it from the underside. Well, I, I did try it from the underside. It just, you know, failed. 
So in order to make sure this goes well and safe and all that jazz, we save right here. And it failed, so we load right here. Hey, <laughs> uh, two tries. Nice. Because of my PB, I missed it like 20. <laughs> all right. Uh, those guys uh, don't have the sword equipped. <laughs> What's taking so long? All right, the weapon. <laughs> hey, you, stop that. Or, I don't know, do or don't, whatever. It's, it's whatever, I don't care. Where am I going? Gotta go this way. Oh, uh, I always, like, wait up near the top for some odd reason. I'm like, oh, I don't have to... I can, I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. I can sing! <laughs> Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh, Dr. Zayas. What's wrong with me? I think you're crazy. What a second opinion! You're all so lazy. I got the voices backwards. Don't really know why. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm a little slap happy. I've been up for a while. Did not get much sleep last night. And now we're, uh, you know, rolling up on Dingus over here. And because bad things can happen. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Bad things can happen. Back up, safety, safe. Wait, no, actually, back up, uh, Harv, in case I need it. Domanicus has been arrived. I don't need you. Uh, okay, so now ring. And there's a dead spot, yeah, like that. No, no, no! You butt! And I didn't actually do the safety save. Oh man, I gotta do a clock tower jump again. Ah. Uh, wow, I got the clock tower jump again, okay, fine. Okay, well, that's officially gonna put me over. That, I, the fact that I didn't hit down to go <laughs> to save. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's fine. This happens. This happens. Yeah, that's. You have to make the upper jump. You can't make it from here. Ugh! Now I get to seem to wait this one out again. Hi, RPG chick! That was. I meant to heal. I didn't! <laughs> oh, so I apologize to everybody. I apologize to everyone! I mostly apologize to me! <laughs> oh! Man, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Mental note! Safety save! I cannot believe that! I cannot believe that! I mean, obviously I can, I just did it. Very disappointed in myself. I do apologize. I missed the safe spot twice. <laughs> Right, what did we learn? Do that! There! Okay, let's roll! I was trying to mash on the A button to be able to get the... the uh... Yeah, there we go, there's the dead spot. Now as long as he... as far as he doesn't roll too far away, then we're fine. There! There was Garland! You jerk! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... I apologize. A beat it, Maryland! Hey, Dad! Since in the Super Nintendo they call him Garland, then the you, spoilers, you fight him again. Uh, the second fight against him, I call him Chaos. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. Ah, so that happened. So now I got a. Oh look, yes, she, <laughs> Elena, the Invincible. Well. Bad news, by the way, the statues have been combined and Domanicus is back. And he's gonna go ahead and take the invincible lady. And now she's uh, his captive. And despite already completing two, two Ease games as the hero, beating, you know, the Earth ending bad guys and succeeding and being the hero and all that jazz, you start having a crisis of conscience. Oh, I, I wasn't able to protect that one girl. Uh, you know what, dude? You've saved, like, thousands. Um, I barely knew that chick. I think we're fine here. It's okay. Plus, isn't her, isn't her brother Chester that, like, super jerk? Yeah, no, that's... Just knock that dude down a peg. That's fine. Oh, my gosh. Stop jumping. <laughs> I'm just trying to mess through text. Uh, so he tells you, the mayor tells you where to go to fight Domanicus, which is conveniently named Domanicus Island! Hey! Ba, ba, ba. 
Fire Jubal, which lets you see on Domanicus Island. Hey! Uh, you actually don't want to use that. <laughs> uh, interestingly enough, um, interestingly enough, uh, what the, uh, the spotlight thingy, the, the Red Jewel does, to, and in, um, no, yeah, we're good. Um, the Red Jewel shines a spotlight down from the, uh, the, the, the top of the screen and lets you see, uh, where enemies are and a little bit of the background, like, whatever it happens to shine onto. By the way, we're waterboarding. Yeah, look at us. Woo! Um... Yeah, no, uh, it lets you see the enemies, and it lets you see a little bit of the, uh, the locations that you're traveling through. Or you could not turn it on at all, and you can just see the enemies, and if you know where you're headed, why did I go to inventory? Um, then you're fine. So we're gonna save, desave, uh, somewhere in here. By the way, these enemies hit like a truck, don't want to get hit. We're just gonna try to not get hit. Oh... There's a hidden thing right here. Uh, hidden platform. So as you can see, I did not turn on the jewels, which means I can see all the enemies. So as long as I know where I'm going in here, um, we're fine. Uh, and there's a pit, which, you know, of course there is. We're just gonna try to not get hit by that guy. The thing about the jewel is it swings slowly from the right to the left. Uh, and there's a place you're supposed to hold left immediately after dropping down. So there's no way you're going to be able to see it um, prior to the drop. It's not exactly fair, and thank you game for being rude. Okay, safety save before Garland! Let's go. Garland, Chaos, Marilyn, you know, whichever. He's quite unhappy that we're still alive and kicking. But it's the same fight, so we're just going to roll up on him and stab him in his oversized ankles again. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, that is a dead garland. I got plenty of ring power. Uh, that's what I was thinking about. Uh, check in at the shop in case I need to buy ring power. But we, we've got plenty. I don't need to worry about it. Um... Yay, and I'm also maxed out on gold now. So, if anything, I could have bought the mirror during also during that, hey, if you need ring power, get ring power, but I didn't need to worry about it because the final boss, um, I believe the TAS uses the power ring and just has impeccable character placement. Um, yeah, Chester's gonna help. He does nothing. Um, and manages to beat him without taking, like, any damage, uh, and the power ring obviously speeds up the fight. But we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to use the, that final ring that we got at the end. Um, <clears throat> in the previous dungeon, I should say. That uh, makes you completely invincible. And we're going to be slapping him around by jumping directly into his body and downstabbing. So, quality Legend of Zelda 2 strats. Back up save just in case something stupid goes wrong. Woo! Let's do this then! Let's fight this final boss! Uh, oh, there's seizure warning. Major seizure warning. If you have that happen, do not watch this boss fight. I'm not joking. I do apologize, but that is a thing. Uh, crap. Well, I don't need to use the ring yet. Okay, so we've, we've whittled down his arms. We've whittled down uh, the inside of him. And now we just have to, we have to take out those tiny Baron, Car Baron Harkonnen hands of his. Just to get that nice gooey center to open up. And now we just jump into the middle of him and downstab. Or jump. Jump. Dogie, what are you doing? Dogie. Not Dogie. You're Adol. Dogie's the other guy. I don't know why I always make that mistake. And if I happen to run out of ring power, which occasionally is a thing... That's why I have the serum that restores my ring power to full. Why are you not jumping? What are you doing? Come back here. Come back here, you jerk. Right, so, yeah. Now that's the point where... Ooh, I'm actually very low aren't I, on this, aren't I? One, two, three, ring. Let's go. Okay. 
go. Okay, well, that's not good. We're gonna heal up the fall and we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Bring it. Got him. Woo. Woo. Oh man, it looks like I'm gonna be over by just a little bit. Cause there's like a minute left. Well, minute and some change. Ah, that's garbage. Okay, so I'm gonna be about a minute and a half over. I apologize everybody. I do apologize. That's what I get for dying to Garland and doing other stupid things. Uh, oh well. So what's going on here? What did I do? What's happening? I don't know. Chester uh, has decided that he's going to hit the self-destruct button. Um, y you're not wrong. If, if Adol was just as much of a hoss as Dogie was, uh, no, there, there would be no comparison. <laughs> Absolutely none. So this is pretty much... It's, it's not even the ending of the game yet, by the way. Despite the final boss being dead, we, the community, decided that the timing would end after, uh, 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 yeah, the final dialogue box that actually initiates the credits. Because, I mean, you could just, like, not pay attention and then not run to, you know, the ending here. <laughs> and, uh, then someone else who was paying attention would actually be able to beat you in the game. So all we have to do is make sure that as soon as you're possible and able to, you run out to place and run off to the right. And talk to the guard who's like, why are you sneaking out? I'm like, I don't know, I'm just... Uh, Irish exit. That's what's happening here. <laughs> and the guard's like, where are you going? Oh yeah, he told me to leave. That's a lie. He's just sneaking out. He's trying to, like, ditch the girl. I don't know why. I don't understand it. But she then decides she's gonna catch up and be like, no, I'm gonna say goodbye to him. I don't understand the ending of this game. <laughs> no, no, I gotta... I have another... I have another ease game I need to go get to. When he says, let's go, doggy, then that's, that's the end. That's what we're waiting for here, and that will be time. Hey, doll, wait for me. You're leaving without me. What took you so long, doggy? Let's go, doggy! Yay! 127. I was exact on the money right there. Okay, so I apologize for dying to Maryland. Lord knows that state hits like a truck, so we should not have had that happen. Got the clock. To, oh, okay, so what, what happened here? Bad menuing, getting lost, died to a boss. Uh, picked up the amulet and went to the wrong house and had to deal with Granny yapping about her dead grandson. I don't care about Roy and I don't need this ring, Grandma. I'm sorry. But anyways, that was Aunt Wanderers from East, a.k.a. East Threes. That's it for me. That's all I got. So, yes, no, yes. Whenever you guys want to go ahead and bump me to try and get back on track, I'm sorry I cost you a minute and a half. Dagnabbit, I really thought I was going to get that one. Ah, don't you hate it when you practice something a lot? and then you just barely let it go out of your fingers by something like you just let go by the wayside. It's, yeah. But anyways, thanks y'all for having, having me. I unfortunately have other games in this marathon. I apologize to everyone because they're both Dragon Ball games and RPGs. Have fun with that. So who is next? What is next? Something else is coming up. Oh, Legend of Oasis. That's right. Stick around for Walking Eye. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks y'all. I'm just now gonna not say anything and uh, fate.